Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. Beautiful tulips that I took in the Royal Botanical Garden here in Ontario. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Romans 11 verse 22. It says, Notice how God is both kind and severe. He is severe toward those who disobeyed, but kind to, the, to you if you continue to trust in His kindness. But if you stop trusting, you will also be cut off. Here's my poem. Kind and Severe The Lord is both kind and severe. He can be harsh on rebels and those who don't fear. He is kind to those who believe and revere Him. He becomes intensely offended when you continue to sin. You will be cut off if you stop trusting your Heavenly Father. So why would you compromise and not give up being a rebel? God still loves you even when you sin, but hates all kinds of evil. Don't take light the judgment He makes when you follow the devil. Here's my essay. Some Christians take lightly how God hates evil. They become complacent and lax when it comes to obeying His commands. They embrace rebellion and pride and live like there is no one higher than them. Even though God is loving and forgiving, He also hates all forms of wickedness. This is why He gave us instructions to follow so that we will receive all the promises that He made to those who love and obey Him. When one stops to trust Him, they will face the harsh consequence of being cut off from Him. His kindness and mercy extend generously to those who are faithful. Prayer Lord, I pray that all believers will never take Your commands for granted. Reflection. What happens when a believer embraces rebellion and evil ways? Well, uh, Paul clearly says to the Romans, but it could also be for, for the, the whole of mankind, that uh, when we disobey, and then God is severe to us, and uh, he will, we will be cut off from him. So, this is the reason why God gave us His Son, Jesus Christ, so that even if we are cut off from sin, He will forgive us if we ask for forgiveness and if we declare that our Lord and Savior is Jesus Christ. So, there is no way that we will be uh, pardoned from sin and stay an unbeliever. The only way we will be pardoned from sin is if we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, that He is Lord and Savior, and that He died for us to um, pay for our sins. So when a believer embraces rebellion, he has actually turned his back. In James, they call him an adulterer. You know, when you, you cannot serve two masters. You cannot serve the world and then God at the same time. Because when you serve God, you are going to uh, follow a different standard because the standards of this world and God are very two opposing things. God, God's standards is based on love. Loving Him, loving others, loving ourselves. But the, the worldly standards is a selfish kind of standard where we only think about ourselves and what we can get. You know. So when you become a believer, you cannot just be a believer by saying that I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, but you need to be able to prove that in your life by the way you live. So if you say you're a believer and then otherwise follow the world's ways, 
then you are you are only you know lying to yourself and because God knows that God knows your heart so it's only God who knows your heart so you can't keep on lying and say you're a believer and yet you don't obey the Lord because the Lord will get you answerable for for whatever decisions you make if you turn your back on him so thanks for watching and I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com from uh, uh, ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs so remember love, God is kind God is loving but he hates all forms of evil so he can be severe when a believer when someone who claims that he's a believer and then follow the world's ways then he will deal with you thanks for watching and again remember that God loves you so much even if um, when he is severe that's because he doesn't want us to fall into sin and he wants us to keep um, in in the promises and to keep focus on the promises that he has given us so that he will fulfill whatever his plan is for our lives thanks